good, Dad. Have a handsome man. <sighs> Hello and welcome to Teal House Farm in today's edition. Um, well, first, I guess we got to get to the elephant in the room. I did shave the old beard off. I, I told my girls that I went to the shower and it just, it washed off. Uh, Micah, Micah asked me like she did last time when I shaved my beard into a mustache. She was like, um, dad, uh, what are people at church going to say on Sunday? <clears throat> so she's really concerned for me. But anyway, nevertheless, um, even though I have shaved my beard off again, I just have this mustache. Anyway, I'm going to do a review of some beard and mustache. That's all, folks. Beard and mustache products that I've used in the past and some that I'm using now. Uh, I'll have links for you in the description. Some of these will be Amazon links that you can click on. Um, it'll go through our Amazon affiliate if you'd want to buy them. One of them, or a couple of them, uh, won't be on Amazon because you can get them cheaper if you go to the actual website and not on Amazon. So anyway, here we go. Beard Brand Tree Ranger Beard oil. It's, if you go to their website on Beard Brand, I think it's beardbrand.com, and get the Tree Ranger oil, it's $25. If you want to go on Amazon, I think it's closer to $40. That was the very first oil I got for Christmas maybe five or six years ago, and my wife loved the way it smelled. Um, it's probably the best smelling one I've had. She, she loved it, and it did a really good job of, um, I guess making my beard soft and more manageable. That's why you would use some of these products. Uh, I guess most of them you could kind of consider like the, the beard oils and the beard balms. A lot of them you can kind of consider as like a conditioner for your beard or your face. So the Tree Ranger uh, beard brand oil was great. I loved it. It softened my beard up and Laura loved the smell, which is just big, big brownie points. I've only had that one bottle though. I've, I, I, it's kind of, there's so many products out there that it's kind of fun to try different ones. Most beard oil and beard balms are pretty cheap. Number two is a can of Honest, uh, my friends call it Amish, Honest Amish Beard Balm. This is just, I think they've got a couple different kinds. This is just kind of their original balm. <clears throat> um, I forgot the Tree Ranger Beard Oil. I should have said this when I was, when I was, I said it smelled good, but I didn't say what it smelled like. It smelled like a man who had been walking among the furs all day. That's why Laura loved it. It had a kind of a piney outdoorsy scent to it and Laura really liked it. Anyway, this um, there's a couple reasons I do like this Honest Amish Beard Balm. I, I've not had, you can see I've used a bit of it. It smells, to me, it smells like licorice a little bit, like black licorice. And I know that that, when you think about that, you're like, I don't want to smell like black licorice, but it actually smells pretty good. Um, once you get it on and get it in there and it, it gets warm and uh, does its thing with your beard. Uh, I, I kind of like the smell, but the, the thing that I really like about the Honest, Honest Amish Beard Balm is that it's really, really soft. I'm going to show you with balms and uh, waxes, the way you use them is you dip your thumb in. I'll see if I can get close without knocking my camera over here. You get close. You get um, you get in here on the sides or in the middle, wherever, and you scoop it out with your with your thumb and your fingernail is how you do it. And you can see one reason I really like this is it's very very soft, like almost like butter, really. Hopefully you can see that okay. <clears throat> so I've dug some out. You get it on your thumb, then you'll rub it in your hands and warm it up. Uh, this one's so easy to use, you don't have to rub it that long, and then you can rub it in your beard or your mustache. But it's, it's mostly like a conditioner for your face. Um, but anyway, I like it because it is so soft and easy to use. 
some beard balms or waxes, especially if you use a wax, you'll, you'll notice this for sure. Uh, you really got to scrape it out with your fingernail. I, I usually keep my fingernails trimmed pretty, pretty short. And then you've got to rub it for a long time before you can use it and, and it loosens up. This stuff is really, really easy to use. And I like the way it smells. Um, so I give this a thumbs up. And um, another thing about this one, uh, a lot of beard balms you can use to style. Like they'll hold your beard or your mustache a little bit. Um, if you read reviews on them, they'll tell you how much hold it gives, or if you go to the website, they'll usually tell you. This doesn't really hold at all, and I kind of like that because it just leaves your beard uh, or your mustache looking a little bit more natural. So it's not gonna it's not gonna pin it down like a wax would. Another thing that I've used this is this is my jar. It's a yeast jar. I got it from Laura. Uh, what I've done in the past is make my own beard, I guess you call it a beard balm. All I did was I took some coconut oil, maybe a, I don't know, a tablespoon or two. This was not scientific at all. I took uh, some coconut oil. I put uh, the one I made that Laura really liked. I think I used cedar wood and eucalyptus. And she says I didn't, but I think I used one drop of peppermint. She doesn't think I, I did, but I, I think I did. So like a couple drops of uh, a couple drops of cedar wood, a couple drops of eucalyptus, and then a drop of peppermint, and you mix it all up, and then it's it's just like this. You dip a little bit out with your thumb, rub it, and apply, rub it through. Um, the nice thing about making your own is, <clears throat> if you have these products on hand, then it's kind of sorta free, and you're not spending money. And the other cool part about it is. You can make your own scent. So if, if you love lavender, you love uh, I don't know cedar wood, whatever, whatever scent you love, you can put it in there, and that's what your beard will smell like. Okay, those are some of the products I've used. Um, another one product I don't have anymore with me that I really enjoyed was a I think it was called Firehouse Mustache Wax. It was I'm pretty sure it was pretty cheap. I know the Honest Amish is like 10 or 12 bucks on Amazon. I think the Firehouse or the Fireman Mustache Wax was maybe 12 or 15. I do I I really like the Firehouse Mustache Wax too. It's actually made by Fireman. Um, they have a lighter hold and a thicker hold. It did a really good job. Most of that mustache wax, it's it's mostly just beeswax, so I feel like a lot of it's kind of similar. I haven't experimented with a lot of them. But anyway, that was a good one. You can check that out in the link below. Another thing I've really enjoyed using that you might like is a beard brush. This really, when you've got a long beard, um, some guys, their beard just lays down straight pretty nice. Mine was always kind of curly and bushy. You can see my mustache is too. A beard brush will help with that, lay down some of those hairs that just poke out and go crazy. I tried to look up this set. I got it, I think it was last Christmas actually. I could not find it. I know they bought it on Amazon. When I looked it up, there were about 150 kits that look a lot like this. So this is a this is a comb that that folds up, um, and then you've got the brush. I, I do enjoy the brush. The only thing I didn't like about the comb was this pin here. It always comes loose, and so the brush or the comb, um, I don't feel like it's put together very well. But if you do get a comb, <clears throat> they say to make sure that it's made out of wood because um, compared to plastic. Wood won't strip the oils out of your beard. It'll help leave it in when you're combing it. And uh, if you use plastic, that tends to take the oils out and then you're not doing yourself much good. The last thing I want to leave you with is uh, a, a, a way to, to remove your beard. I think this is called Cremo. I'm not 100% certain. Um, but this is shave cream. Um, I, this has chemicals in it. I know a lot of times the things we use are, we shoot for natural like this 
is organic, the Honest Amish. This is an organic product. They, they use natural things. This is definitely not a natural product. But if you're going to shave your face, uh, shave your neck, I use it to shave my head. It does a really good job. It makes it super, super smooth. Um, I don't nick my face or my head nearly like I used to with just uh, creams or bars or foam, any of that stuff. I really like this stuff. Uh, both of my brothers have used it a little bit. They used to get razor burn on their necks where they'd shave under their beard. They started using this stuff and it went away. It lasts a really long time. I use the sandalwood scent. I think Poopsie has used the bourbon scent. I think that's what it was. Uh, they've got a couple different scents on there, but um, I really like this stuff. It works really well and it keeps you from uh, cutting yourself. Uh, it just feels good and you can see what you're doing too because it's, I mean, it's kind of white, but it's not this big foamy face. That's what I always use was the foam and it's just hard to see what you're doing. Anyway, this is just a quick video of showing you some of the beard and mustache products that I have used or use now. Uh, we'll have links in the description for you. You can check them out if you'd like to. The, the kind of cool thing about a lot of these products and most products that, you know, if you're if you're looking online, they're kind of cheap. And so you can try something for a little while. If you don't like the uh, what it's doing for you, you don't like the smell, you can try something else. And so I guess you could, for some people, it might be a hobby and it would be a fairly cheap hobby to jump into if you wanted to. Anyway, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.